welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is from March 16th until 23rd. Let's take a look. What's going to be coming your way? Aquarius, people are talking right behind your back, planning behind your back, and they've been hiding things, you know, from you as well. Now, the thing here is, you actually know what's going on, okay, exactly, but you're, you don't want to confront the people that you need to confront in order for you to put these people into their own places, and there are you know they're already crossing the lines and they're already uh what do you call this like um trying to dip their fingers into um other people's businesses which is it's not really their you know it's not really their business or their thing anymore so i feel like if that happens there will be some uh, you know, altercations that's also going to be happening between you, a fire, and an earth sign. And I feel like you have to move. You will be moving in the month of April or within the next four weeks. That even though you are struggling financially, that you don't have any other choice right now but to go and move. However, you know, you will be blessed and, guide and guided that... Um, <coughs> that um hmm. like a like an abundance like an unexpected money uh from an unknown resource will be coming your way and you'll be very happy because you feel like someone is looking after you especially if your mother have already passed away or your you know grand your grandmother is already in heaven they're the one who's been um looking after you okay and i feel like this is the start of a new beginning and a change of your life plus there is another um a lump sum of money that will be coming your way and that you will also be receiving in the form of check within the next three three to nine weeks okay now, there is a fire sign that you want to walk away from and, and avoid because this person is very confrontational. Uh, you know, their their temper is very infectious and it's like they're going to provoke you into a fight. Whereas even if you're not really in the mood to fight, they're going to, you know, pull the trigger and uh, they just want to have a fight for the sake of it. You will try to get in touch with some of your friends, family, and other relatives, you know, to help you out with your new beginnings and new business. And you're just waiting for the right time. However, there is someone that's on your mind, which is a water sign. Could be Scar uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And um, this person, you feel like you want to give this person a chance. However, you want to prioritize your new beginnings at this point okay now you you feel so stuck with the situation actually not with the situation it's only your fear that's been making you stuck and you're so afraid of reaching out to some other people who's more than willing to help you because you've you've been betrayed already okay you're so afraid of trusting other people especially that there is somebody in your life which is an earth or a f uh, or an air sign who recently betrayed you and you know they, this person just sucked you up and leave you empty-handed 
and I feel like they have gathered everything that you have, you know, founded for how many years, and in just one snap, you know, all of a sudden, I mean, your 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 entire fortune or money or furniture or house, land, whatever it is, you know, your assets, it's all gone. Okay, so now you have to start all over. And even though you're feeling a little bit uh, defensive, afraid, and walled up, and this is the reason why you're having a hard time communicating with other people, you need to open up yourself again. Okay? Not all people out there, well, not all people who's going to be coming into your life and who's out there will be betraying you and will be doing the same thing to you. It's only a matter of learning and um, reading their personalities and their, you know, their intention towards you. Now, there is a fire sign around you, or there's a fire sign that's in your mind that um, that you want to see while you're traveling or when you travel, and you're so excited to hear from this person. This is somebody from the past who walked away from you and left your their comfort zone, who ran away and took off and just leave you all behind, um, possibly within, you know, like 60 years ago or six months ago and now you're starting to think more about this person whatever happened to them now you were caught in between a water and an air sign um but you're still let's say connected not really hooked up but connected okay spiritually emotionally mentally uh, possibly physically as well and you don't want to give any one of them like a false promise or like a false move. Okay? But either one of them, you know that the, they can make you happy. And you can also be happy to them. It's just that right now, this is not really the perfect timing. Since that there are some things and some people that you need to let go of and sacrifice in order for some other things and priorities to move on and move forward. And I feel like your finances will be coming to you unexpectedly from unexpected resource, okay? Uh, you will be asking for some help from your relatives, like cousins, but they either they're going to help you with interest or they're not going to help you at all. Because they know that you're so broke and they don't really trust you that you can, you know, give back their money. But fortunately, there are some people who believes more in you and they're just watching you, waiting for you to reach out to them. But you, it, it could be that because of the things that's been going on in your life lately, you don't even know that you can, you know, ask help from these people or ask help from certain parties. So you've already forgotten about their contacts or their names or, you know, or they, their whereabouts, but they are watching you. And even if you are not, asking even if you're not going to contact them they are the one who'll be sending help to you without you asking so this is a you know very good indication that you're on the right path that people are helping you and right now the only people that you can rely upon are those that are not related to you family issues relatives it will continuously become a battle and um our path for you but um, set it aside for now especially this fire sign who will be you know continuously pulling the trigger and um, will keep on pulling your legs so that you will lose your temper and make it appear that you're the crazy one okay now for those who's already married I feel like there will be some gaps and uh, continuous battles between the two of you because it's like if you're the one who wants to get close the other one is pulling away when the other one is getting closer you're the one who's pulling away so it's like you're dancing back and forth okay I don't feel like that there will be a separation but then there will be some distances and coldness and I feel like there will be more um more cold fights or silent war that's going to be happening and coming into your domestic life. Children will also be affected and they are going to be very confused about the energy and, your, and you know, they will also be absorbing the stress. You will notice that they are not really eating much. They, um, they sleep more often than usual. They don't really go out, mingle. They just want to stay inside their rooms. They're very, uh, you know, their, their attitude is a little bit... Uh, um, 
pain in the ass or you know it's like they're m more of a headache right now than being more of a help inside a house especially boys okay it is because that they're the one who's been absorbing the bad energy that's been surrounding your house and not to mention that some older relatives are also giving them some wrong advices and insights okay so anyway that's it for you for this week aquarius if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you